Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Pandasaur here. So in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to make camos quickly. Um, just because the game's been out for a while, a lot of the old methods are no longer working or it's just taking way too long to produce the amount of camos that you need. Um, so anyways guys, uh, so in this video, I'm going to be showcasing a personal favorite of mine. Uh, and then I'm also going to give you guys uh, some different options as well. Um, the personal favorite that I will be talking about the most is um, actually involving maging. Um, don't worry about it, guys. This is not hard at all, and literally anybody can do this. Um, so anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the gameplay, and I'll also um, discuss some other options and alternatives that you may choose to use. So like I said, guys, I'll catch you in the game. All right, guys, so jumping in the video, uh, I'm going to briefly discuss some common uh, methods that I think are just way outdated, um, just because how the game has changed and progressed uh, over the over the years that it's been out. Uh, selling AP and MP runes, uh, you can still make a profit on these, but I think it takes way too long, uh, especially for uh, how, how much uh, these runes are worth nowadays. Um, back in the day, these were worth almost uh, 400kk a piece, and then MP runes around 120, 130, if not a little bit more. Um, now they're as low as uh, 80kk uh, for AP runes, and I don't know, somewhere around like 30 or 40kk for MP runes. And I just, I just find that uh, the the common and traditional methods of making these runes are just way outdated, and I just don't really suggest doing them because a lot of players still do it. Uh, another one I wanted to talk about is selling dragon pig souls. Um, some people, uh, even some friends on uh, Dodge now, uh, they still try to sell dragon pig souls and uh, day in and day out, they'll spend all day uh, farming these souls and They'll, they'll have to wait almost a week before they can get rid of all the souls that they've uh, accumulated. So I just don't really suggest doing those either. Um, if you wanted to do uh, either the AP runes, MP runes, or the Dragon Pig souls in the past time while you're bored, then sure, you can still make money off it. It's just extremely slow, which if you've previously been doing um, either or, you, you probably can attest to it. And... Uh, uh, just kind of notice that it's just just not as good as what it used to be. Um, doppel runs, doppel runs are still a good option or alternative. However, um, I personally don't think this is a good way to generate camos um, just for your characters and whatnot. Because if you ever wanted to uh, change your character's build uh, or anything else like that, then you're gonna have to get all new gear. And typically, uh, if you can if you can farm your own stuff, then you want to. So, I just I highly suggest not selling any of your your doppel uh, uh, doppelunes or whatever from what you accumulate because you'll you'll really need them later on unless you're just um, already set on camas or you can efficiently make camas. But with this guide right here, it's for people that are needing to make camas and whatnot. So um, I highly suggest you guys not sell your doppelunes. Um, but if you need to, then uh, go for it. It's still a good option to, uh, to utilize. Um, just because everybody that's already in in-game gear or trying to make new, uh, new gear that's coming out and whatnot, um, they'll still need pebbles, they'll still need spell point scrolls. Um, a good one that's still uh, a decent option to use or utilize is to farm Kitsos for the raw bit runes. Um, I, I think it's a good option just because, um, just well, I guess two things. Uh, one, it's an area-based um, way of income. So you typically have to be in the more dominant alliance that can take over territories. Uh, to actually really benefit from this. Uh, it just kind of limits um, how many people can actually uh, uh, participate or utilize this trick or method to make camas. So it definitely kind of like uh, keeps a steady price because you know, like whatever alliance you're in, the, only those uh, players can actually access that area. Um, the downside to that is exactly the opposite of what I just said basically is like if you're not a player 
um, in that dominant alliance, then you know what, you're not really going to be able to uh, utilize this trick. Um, uh, a good substitute for Kitsu farming is actually uh, spamming um, Coolidge Dungeon. Um, I personally uh, like doing Coolidge Dungeon. Uh, it does get boring, uh, but you know what, it's just something that you got to do. Um, if you want to stockpile a bunch of runes, I personally don't really sell runes anymore just because I will be needing them and using them in our mage videos. Um, and just because I've been talking about maging and uh, started a whole mage tutorial series, I'm going to focus on uh, showcasing you guys um, ways to make camos quickly using your mage professions. And that just kind of brings me to the the last l little uh, old old method but yet I still think it's uh, the most <laughs> I, I still think it's the most uh, fundamental part of the game and just the easiest way to make cameras quickly is just buying cheap items and selling them for more than what you paid for and you know like uh, if you can make if you can make double of what you've uh, put into an item, then awesome, that's great. Or if you can just buy an item that was just completely ruined by somebody trying to mage or exo mage an item and got fed up with it, then take advantage of it. Because really, uh, once you've learned how to actually um, mage efficiently, then you know what, like you'll be able to uh, make a decent amount of money of buying cheap gear and selling it for more by just putting maybe a few hundred cameras or a hundred kk into your item with ruins um so anyways guys i'm going to be talking about um some uh some ways that you guys can utilize your professions so um up first i wanted to just talk about um uh, a decent way to, to make cameras and it kind of just builds off of um uh, either farming kitsos or spamming Coolidge Dungeon. Um, and it just kind of involves the mage profession uh, of the uh, Jewel Mangus. So I've, I've personally used this. Um, however, it does take a lot of time. But once you've, once you've like accumulated enough camas just from making your own gear or... Um, just selling the runes and whatnot so you can progress a little bit faster with your character. Um, I typically don't uh, suggest uh, to keep pursuing with this method right here that I'm going to be showing you guys. So as you guys can see, um, I've previously made a uh, Ring of Satisfaction. Um, now, the old method with these was to actually upgrade these rings into the uh, satisfied summoner's ring and then you would crush those for AP runes. However, uh, starting out as a mage and um, just learning how to mage, uh, a lot of people get frustrated and give up on the maging professions or just kind of just like neglect it just because they don't know exactly what they're doing. However, um, I like to kind of just utilize every little possible scenario where I could actually make or turn over a profit. So um, in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some uh, profit runes uh, just for demonstration purposes here. Um, so we'll just say that I've been farming uh, Kitsos or I've been running Coolidge Dungeon and I, I've been making the, the hats or I've been crushing the Coolidge hats. So what do I do with all the extra runes that I have accumulated? Well, you can obviously just put them up in the market and sell them as they're still a de they're worth they're still worth a, a decent amount of camos, especially when you get a surplus of them. However, I'd like to utilize anything I can to actually turn over a profit. So let's just say I was leveling my jeweler profession all the way up to 65. I just learned the Mangus, right? So even being a low level Mangus, I can still turn over a decent profit on um, uh, maging gear. So in this, I'm gonna be maging this item until the AP rune falls off. So when the AP rune falls off, I will accumulate uh, a certain amount of sync 
which I can use without any of my EXO stats dropping. So while that drops, while that AP drops, I'm gonna quickly uh, pump all of, uh, I'm gonna pump through all of the, uh, the sync that I've accumulated from the AP falling off by adding uh, Podvit runes. So as you guys can see, as soon as I reach about 101 um, VIT, I'll, I'll stop maging and then I'll go to crush that item. So usually uh, anything above 101 vitality, you're guaranteed 100% uh, drop of a raw VIT rune. So that, that's just one option that you can do. And you know, if you're trying to XP your uh, uh, jeweler profession, then Honestly, this is a really good way that you can turn over profit uh, as well as just kind of uh, level up your professions. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually using a uh, wand carver. Um, so if you guys have looked uh, through the prices of runes, you can actually tell that uh, raw, uh, raw, raw wiz runes as well as raw vit um, uh, range runes, AP, and MP runes are typically the most expensive runes um, in the game. Uh, and honestly, uh, the old method was uh, making these hats and just kind of maging them uh, a little bit and then crushing. However, I've personally found that uh, using a wand carver and making uh, trekned wands is 100% faster as well as easier to uh, gather materials for um, uh, as you guys can see the the material difference between uh, the said hat as well as the wand um, and I personally have a Intel craw so I can go through uh, tr the tree forest and kill trees uh, extremely quick and drop a lot of materials uh, efficiently so uh, I don't know maybe um, 30 minutes to an hour, I can probably turn over almost 2 million camas um, just from being an Intel craw and utilizing this Treknid wand trick. So um, with the, the tree wand, uh, you kind of have two options. You can craft the wand, well, I should say you have three options. Uh, you can craft the wand, you can, um, if it's a near max, uh, you can go ahead and sell it for anywhere between like 20 and uh, 40,000 camas. However, um, I've personally noticed that even if you mage the, um, the wisdom to the, the highest you can get, which is 33, um, and you try to sell it for 40, 45 KK, it, it takes some time for it to sell. Um, so I typically don't spam the market with, uh, selling the wands. Um, option two, you could add a, uh, hunter's rune on the item. Um, I know a few people have been doing uh, this for some time and have been actually making a decent amount of money because um, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go to your um, your Smithagus section and uh, uh, just go ahead and add that rune uh, and then it's all automatically worth 40 to 50 KK or just however much you want to sell it depending on if there's anything else in the market. But uh, my personal uh, favorite technique and trick that I do is I mage my wands up to anywhere between 31 and 33 wisdom, and then I crush it for raw wisdom runes. And honestly, I've personally noticed that raw wisdom runes sell better in sets or increments of 10 than they do as a hundred. So, um, and it, it it's also, easier to spend 30 minutes to an hour farming or XPing at trees and then only making like 20 or 30 AP runes or not AP runes sorry um wisdom runes um uh versus just kind of like killing them for a set period of time and stockpiling your your materials and then trying to sell them so um, these are just some options for you guys. Um, like I said, I just wanted to uh, really focus on how you guys can benefit from being a mage. Um, and these are just uh, two items that I've showcased here. Um, you can really, if you think about it, you can really do just about anything. Um, whether it's exo maging um, stats onto an item to crush for a specific result. Um, or are just really uh, utilizing your mage profession to 
um, increasing gear stats that were not so good to nearing perfect, which just tremendously increases the value of the item. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video for now.